<laughs> hey guys. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Priscilla, and today I'll be doing a video on army regulations for female hair, specifically African American females within the army. The whole army. Now, I figured since I just came from training today, I might as well. I was supposed to do this video a couple of months ago, like two months ago, but um, I'm here, I'm doing it, I have my notes, and yeah, let's go. For 2017 for African American females, various different things and epidemic things have been happening. Obviously, it took uh, the army 200 years to finally allow um, twist outs dreads to be a part of the um female hair type and regulations have they officially approved dreadlocks they officially approved twists they officially approved um um what is that natural hair to be within human um to be within hair regulations of the uniform which is epic because you know a lot, many times African American females were perming their hair, they were putting in weaves, and they were putting in various different types of things to get their hair to be standard, whatever that standard means. Um, but now you can wear your hair out, you can wear your natural hair, you can wear your dreadlocks. Like, I remember when I had to tell someone, like, a year and a half ago. No, two years ago that she had to cut off her dreads because it's not allowed in basic training and it's not allowed in the army um in the army it's not allowed in the army period like you couldn't have dreads now i'm so happy i'm so happy that you can have dreadlocks natural twist outs you know obviously they wanted to be in a bun they wanted to be you know put up they don't want it to touch the, your collar they don't want it, your bangs to come over your eyebrows or touch your eyebrows and stuff like that um it's very 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 nitpicky but it's nitpicky abroad for everyone i will tell you now um uh, if you're going to training if you're going to basic training you don't want your hair to be colored you want your hair to be um you don't want your hair to be ombre you don't want your hair to be various different cuts like you don't want it to cut it like a pix like a pixie haircut, I'll put maybe a little tag. Like, you want your hair to be able to be put in a bun or put your hair, you know, like wear your hair down to about here so it wouldn't touch your collar. Um, another thing that they are they have allowed is while you're doing physical um, training, like if you're doing PT, if you're exercising, you can have your hair out in a ponytail. You can have your hair out. Um, while you're running because a lot of times when you're running your hair is um falling down um what else what else what else maximum you the bun cannot be three and one half inch from the scalp so i have here a picture here and it cannot be three and a half three and a half inches from your scalp like, I'm going to let you know right now, in training, there will be sticklers about that. But when you're out in the real army, or you're out in the guard, or you're out in reserves, like, people, I see people with hair buns, like, this big. I see people with braids in, like, that is not three and a half inches from your scalp. Let me let, let, me let you know that right now. It's not going to be that. But when you are in training, when you're in boot camp, you're not in the army yet. You have to finish your training and then you can see different lax personalities, you know, depending on your unit, depending on how many females there are. Like, I'm just letting you know right now, the least females you have in your company, the least amount of this tuck type of stuff that you're going to do. The more females that you're going to have in your company, the more regulations that they're going to start pushing, which makes sense, you know. Like when I was one of three medics, when I was the only female in my platoon, they didn't really care about me. They just glad that I showed up, you know. But when I switched to a different platoon and I had like it was like basically half females and half males, like they were like, "Why is your hair out of place? Why are your nails doing this? What are you doing over there? Why are you looking over there?" You know. So it's going to be definitely very nitpicky and 
it's a lot of times it's going to be the staff sergeant obviously if you have like if your hair is ombre max if your hair is orange or bright red like they're going to tell you something. I'm not going to lie. But if you're here, if you're trying to, you're just like touching, you're just like inching, you know, <laughs> they'll let you slip because I have like pushed the envelope. I've had had twists. I have had had my hair um, one color, another half, another color. Like that's not allowed for regulation. Your hair needs to be one solid color. It has to be natural, um, like a natural color, like a brunette type of stuff you can't have a too bright red you can't have a too bright blonde you know you can't have streaks in your hair you can't have your hair ombre when you're coloring it however you can get away with different types of stuff by uh, you know not making it too obvious not drawing attention to the specific color if you know what i'm saying like braid it in i've seen people actually braid in their hair where they are not seeing you're not seeing the color spray your hair um spray your hair black or something without seeing you won't see the color like you can't tell the difference your hair can't be no greater than a half inch from your from your hair from your scalp so it has to be a half an inch from your scalp so this is your scalp if this is your scalp it's gonna have to be like this way from like obviously I want to see if my hair is a half an inch from my scalp. Oh, it is a half an inch. It is a half an inch. Well, it has to be a half an inch from your scalp. Um, I'm going to let you guys know that that's not really usually the case when it comes to braids and all that stuff. Um, I've seen people have jumbo braids that are way out of regulations. I mean, what are they? if you come in like once a month, they're not really going to be too strict on that. But I know people that are active that have twists and it's not a half an inch from their scalp. Um, so barrettes, pins, and all that stuff, they need to be the color of your hair. So mine is going to be black or really dark brown. Um, hair extension, wigs, weave, pieces, hair pieces are all allowed as long as they fit in within that regulation and they match with your uniform that they're, you're not drawing attention with. I know makeup. You can wear natural makeup. Like, I'm not going to wear makeup today. I'm glad I didn't wear any makeup today because we did a three-mile ruck march. We were doing a lot of super high-speed stuff that I was like, okay, I wasn't ready for this. I'm glad I didn't wear any makeup. Um, let's go down to eyebrows. You can do your eyebrows. You can't have... You cannot have eyelash extensions you can't have eyelash extensions first of all why would you want all this gross dirt around your eyelashes that can easily infect your eyelashes the only people that can have eyelashes is if, if you eyelash extensions is if you have a profile yes you need a profile for eyelash extensions which is completely besides me um if you have a profile that allow that your eyelids aren't able to close properly so that you can uh, so that your eyelashes can cover um, your eyes because the purpose of your eyelashes is to protect your eyes and if your eyelids are made in a fashion that you can't they can't really cover or they don't allow for your eyes eyelashes to cover your eyes and protect them you need eyelash extensions yes yeah, someone had to go all the way in on that one to tell me let me let you people have people will regulate you people will straighten you out acrylics so let's, we're going now from the face. Um, obviously you're going to do makeup that looks natural, styles that look natural. You can't wear earrings in this uniform. If you're wearing ACUs, if you're wearing any type of um, military work uniforms like PTs, ACUs, you cannot wear earrings. If you're wearing ASUs, dress uniforms, like you can wear studs and only one pair, one pair of earrings. So like one here and one here. Um, acrylics. You can wear acrylics. Who would have thought? You can wear acrylics in the military. However, they cannot be long. I'm not wearing, I'm not wearing, these are my real nails, but I'm not wearing acrylics. They can be long and they have to be natural looking. Um, you can't have them painted. You can't have clear nail polish. You can't have nude, well, no, excuse me, I take the back. You can have clear nail polish. You can't have nude nail polish. No nude color within the regulations. I will leave the link below with all of the army regulations and all of the hair stuff 
but circa 2017. I'm gonna go over everything again from the top. Your hair, you can have hair extension, you can have a weave, you can have a wig, you can have um, braids, you can have locks, you can have your own natural hair um, as long as it's one half an inch, a half an inch away from your scalp, from your bun. If you're gonna put your hair up, when you put your hair up, your bun needs to be three and one half inch, three and a half inches away from your scalp. Three and a half inches away from your scalp. Secondly, when you have your bun up, it cannot touch your collar. If you're gonna have a low haircut, your haircut cannot touch your collar. If it touches your collar, it's out of regulations. And lastly, or next, you can have your eyebrows done. You can have earrings in this uniform, in all work uniform. You can have earrings in dress uniform. Preferably, you put on natural looking makeup. If you really, really want to put on makeup, it's really not that deep. But if you're working in this uniform all day, it's okay. I understand. You can put on your makeup. Secondly, or next, excuse me. Next, eyelash extensions are, you need a profile for eyelash extensions. If you're if you don't have a condition in which your eyelashes don't completely cover your eyes because you are of Asian descent, Filipino descent, you cannot have eyelash extension without a profile. Next, you can have acrylics. You can have nail polish as long as it's clear. Your nails must be neatly trimmed, neatly kept, like it can't be dirty. Especially if you're in the medical field, they really, really, really dog on that. Um, you can have acrylics, but they could be only clear acrylics. So you can't have French tip. You can't have any nude colors. No nail polish are allowed in uniform. You can have French tips. Okay, guys. 2017 regulations. Things that I am really, really happy about. I'm really happy to see that we can have natural hair. Like, you don't always have to put on a weave or a wig or any of that to to wear your own natural hair, which is crazy because the fight that a lot of African-American cadre were fighting were that, hey, if we can wear hair extensions, why can't we wear our own hair? And like, I can wear dreads in which it can be neat. You know, I can wear nail, like I can do stuff, styles, like I can be creative. I can be within regulations and be creative. And that's what I need everyone of you guys to do. Good luck with your training. Thank you very much for watching and oh, love you guys. Bye. Yeah. <gasps>